how what's up guys so today we're going to continue our locomotion system and we're going to implement the crouching and we're going to replicate it so uh let's begin the first thing we need is to import the animations so let's go to characters mannequins animations many unarmed and we're going to create a new folder called crouch so now uh, get the animations that are on the description the crouch animations drag them in select the skeleton import all <clears throat> So now that we have them, uh, select them all, right click, asset actions, bulk edit, go to root motion, enable and force root lock, file, save all. So um, now we need to rotate some animations like we did in the previous videos. Let's go to the walk backwards left animation, this one. Um, so now uh, over here, we're going to say 45 and change this to animation first frame reimport animation like this now the backwards right will be minus 45 so minus 45 animation first frame reimport animation now the forwards left um, will be minus 45 animation first frame reimport animation and the forwards right will be 45 animation first frame reimport animation so now save all um now we need to fix some animations position so let's go to the walk right animation and here um, it will be 15 on import translation and here it will be minus 10 so animation first frame reimport animation so you can see it moved a little now um we can go to the backwards left animation and do the same thing on import translation. This will be minus 15, and here it will be 10. So reimport animation, and it should move. So uh, now we need to rotate the spine, so we can start here on the backwards left. We can pause this, move it here, skeleton tree, spine one. Here it will be 20, and here it will be five. Add a key, save, now the backwards right, um, 20, 5, add a key, save, the forwards left, 20, 5, add a key, save, and the forwards right, 20, 5, add a key, and save. So um, now that's it. Now we need to add the uh, sync markers. I know it's boring, but let's begin on the walk backwards so it starts on the left so add sync marker left copy this one right uh, left right left right left left uh, right left right left right left so now we can copy these ones into the backwards left and backwards right animation like this um, now the walk forwards which starts on the left copy this one right left right left right left left right left right left right left so now we can copy these ones into the forwards left and forwards right like this um now the walk left which starts on the left <coughs> copy this right left right left right left left right left right left right left so now the walk right um add sync marker uh 
left starts on the left copy this one right left right left so left right left right left so that's it um now we can create our blend space so we can close this uh go to animation blend space select the skeleton call this blend space mail um how do i yeah mail uh unarmed whoa okay unarmed crouch sorry about that so open it up now let's go to asset details the horizontal axis will be the direction from uh, minus 180 to 180. We'll have eight grid divisions, snap to grid. Now the vertical axis will be the speed from zero to 600. We'll have eight grid divisions, snap to grid. Now the weight speed down here, uh, where is it? Yeah will be five and that's it we can start uh, dragging our animations so the crouch forwards will be here on 225 now the forwards left forwards right walk left walk right backwards left backwards right backwards and backwards so that's it. Now we have um, our blend space. So now we need to create the replication for this. So let's do that. Let's go to our character. So content, third person. Okay. We're going to do uh, same thing we did before. So um, the first things we're going to do is create a variable called crouching. This will be replicated here okay and now we're going to go to the replication graph we created before uh, we're going to copy the these events we created before and we can call them crouch on clients crouch on server crouch off client and crouch off server. So now let's change the client events to run on client like this, and the server wants to run on the server like this. So uh, now all we need is just to grab the variable set and copy this to each event and connect everything. So we don't need a function in this case because we only need to set the variable. We don't need to do anything else. So it just stays uh, easier like this. So um, now on the on events, when we want to turn it on, we just set the variable to true and we can uh, comment this and say crouch. Okay. So um, right now we just need to go to the event graph and get a key. It could be the left control key. Yeah, like this. <clears throat> so if uh, we are crouching, so get the crouching, create a branch. Okay, so if we are uh, crouching, we want to turn the crouch off. So we can say um, crouch off server first, and then um, crouch off client so um now if the crouching is not turned on we want to turn the crouch on so crouch on server and crouch on client like this so um we can uh, comment this and say crouch so uh, something we also need to do is make sure um, these ones work well together. So 
when we press the sprint, for example, we want to turn off the crouch. And when we crouch, we want to turn off the sprint. So let's just expand this a little bit for both. And as I said, if the sprint is on, we can copy the crouch off functions and set the crouch to off. So when we start sprinting, we turn off the crouch. Uh, the same thing here. So if we start the crouch, uh, we get the sprint off events and we call them here and we turn off the sprint. So that's it. Um, now we can go to our animation blueprint and get the crouching variable that we created from the character and use it to switch between blend spaces. So let's do that. Let's go to the animation blueprint, content, characters, mannequins, animations, many. And let's go to the event craft. Um, here, let's go up here and delete these casts. Let's go to references, change this character to third person character. Okay, object reference, change variable type. So um, now if we do a cast from here, so cast to third person character, we can now uh, get the variables from our character. Okay, so that's basically it. Now uh, we're going to add a pin right here. And down here, we're going to get the character and say uh, crouching like this. So get the crouching and we're going to set a variable on the animation blueprint called crouching. So and connect this up here. Um, so and that's basically it. So we go to our character, get the variable from there, and then we set the same variable here on the animation blueprint. So uh, comment this and say character variables like this. Uh, so any variable you need from the character, you just uh, do the same thing and expand this and add it here. So um, now we need to go to our animation graph. And the first thing we are going to do is just um, duplicate this locomotion state machine like this, rename it to crouch like that. Uh, open it up, go to the idle, delete everything and get the crouch idle animation, connect right there. And then let's go back to the walk and run and do the same thing, but delete just the blend space and get our new blend space that we created, connect everything, connect the results. So, and that's it. Uh, now we need to go to the animation graph and we're going to say blend by bull. Okay. And we are going to connect our crouching variable right here. So, and what this does is so um, switch between poses uh, based on a Boolean valve, which will be the crouching. Okay. So we can also connect the result right here. And now if we are crouching, so if crouching is true, we use the crouch state machine. If not, we continue to use the locomotion we created before. Okay, that's it. We can uh, drag this here to keep things organized. And that's it. Now we should be able to use the crouch. So let's test it out. Hit play. And if I press the control. Okay. So you can see this is really fast and that's because we need to change the blend times between the animations. So let's go there on the animation blueprint. The blend poses has two blend times. So we're going to set this to 0.3 and here the same thing to 0.3. Now compile save. Let's play again. Now if I press control, it should be way smoother. And as you can see, we can also walk in all the directions. Uh, we can also jump. And if we press shift to sprint, we can start sprinting. And now if we press uh, the control key, we start uh, crouching. So that's it. This is how you can uh, implement the crouching. We can also test this on the server if you want. 
so go to two players here listen server play and as you can see now if i press control i'm crouch um i can walk around and use all the animations and as you can see um now i can use everything so that's it i hope you liked it uh i hope you learned something with it so don't forget to subscribe